The month of March 2024 is over and there are some amazing mods that have released throughout this month. Some are very basic while some are very ambitious. So without any further delay, let's take a look at the greatest Fallout New Vegas mods from March 2024. Starting off with something basic. The Pip-Boy 2000 mod replaces the Pip-Boy 3000 from the base game with this Fallout 2 inspired one. The textures are high resolution with even the smallest of details being clearly visible. The buttons and dials also function as intended. Also, there's a different light source for the torch instead of the Pip-Boy screen, which is a nice detail. Zlib updated improves the game's BSA compression, which improves performance and causes less stutter. Items transformed fixes various mesh-related bugs for items such as floating items on shelves or empty bottles that shouldn't be empty. Speaking of bottles, destroyable bottles let you break bottles and glass objects by hitting them. The Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles are still unbreakable, though. Vendor Radio lets you buy or browse items from any vendor from this new menu in the radio screen. For that, you have to add the vendor when in close proximity to them. Then you can buy anything they sell and receive it from your chosen location. Of course, this is totally customizable from the INI file. So if you want to get the items right away, then you can do so by changing the vendor mode. Animated Workbench mod plays an animation when interacting with workbenches, campfires, and chemistry sets in third person. I think there are not many third person animation mods out there, so I appreciate this effort by the mod author. Canvi SC Lever Action Shotgun adds a very stylish new animation for the said weapon. This mod turned one of my least used weapons to one of the most satisfying weapons to use. Idle Variety adds 30 plus NPC idle animations into the game. This mod not only adds more variety to the NPCs, but also gives them more personality. Before going forward, I will want to remind you to check out Chilliseek's new mods. He has been updating the game's textures for a long time now, and I will remind you to check these mods out each month as showcasing these mods on their own will be just me saying high quality textures over and over again. With that out of the way, let's carry on. WAP Grenade Launcher adds a high quality model for the grenade launchers in the game. As you can see, the texture quality is just out of this world. I just can't wait for the WAP project to be completed, but that's still a long way from now. Cozy Jacket Outfits adds some new clothing for the female characters in the game. As you can see, these doesn't really fit in with the FNV aesthetic, but still are pretty good looking, so I included them in this list. NVRA, VSS, and VAL adds five new weapons into the game. All of these weapons feel good to use with high quality gunfire sounds complementing them. My personal favorite is this unique one. I just really like the color scheme and the yellow wiring. However, the amount of smoke while firing these weapons are just too much. And I know this is not meant to be used with the vanilla smoke effects, but for people like me who can't run the game well with high resolution smoke mods, it's definitely a problem. FNV Clean Animations Explosive Mines Pack animates the mines with more detailed animations. I accidentally showcased the mines in the animation overhaul as I thought they were animated by the grenades pack. But now that this mod is out, you can add it to your animation mods load order too. Enhanced movement adds various new movement options such as prone, shooting while being in prone, better sprinting animations along with shooting while sprinting, snappy lean, and much more. If it seems that I have kind of skipped over this mod, that's because I did. I have already covered this mod in detail in my animation mod list video, so consider watching that video for a more detailed description. Hit B42 Liquid Courage adds new animations for various drinks and stews. All of them look great with a lot of flair to the animations. They are not just bland opening the knob and drink type animations. Instead, they are brimming with personality like this animation where the courier breaks the bottle after drinking. Hopefully we will see more of these type of mods from him throughout this year. Hymn of the New West removes all of the generic music from the game and adds back some of the classic tracks to give some of the locations better ambience. These tracks are not that noticeable, but that's what good music is. It blends together with the environment to create a fantastic atmosphere. Devil's Gully overhauls the previously lackluster location called Devil's Gullet. Now it's a giant crater with collapsed vehicles and structures. There's also a brand new dungeon, which has a very unique layout and some secrets to find. You can find a schematic for a gun called the LAE Cannon which is pretty fun to use. 
And now for the big one. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? Vice, aka visuals, improved content, expanded overhauls all of the Mojave, and adds lots of new locations. If I start showcasing everything this mod adds, then this video will be two hours long, so I'm going to stick with the strip which got the most noticeable treatment. The strip has been completely expanded with old casinos having expanded exteriors, totally new locations, back alleys and garages been also added. And the best thing is most of these places have interiors and NPCs, although there's some issues going on with the lighting of these places. All of this newly added stuff gives the strip a more grandiose look. And all of this is just for the strip only. The whole Mojave has been expanded in smaller or bigger ways like this. With that being said, I can't recommend this to everyone as some people prefer a more simplified look of the base game. But if you're looking for a fresh coat of paint in the world of New Vegas, then this is a mod for you. And that's it. March was definitely a very promising month. Hopefully we will see more ambitious mods like these throughout this year. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.